Let's talk to uh, Dr. Ram Manikalingam. He's an ex-advisor to the former president of Sri Lanka, Chandrika Kumaratunga. He's now founder and director of the Dialogue Advisory Group. He's also in Colombo. Thank you very much uh, for waiting to talk to us. How are you viewing the scenes? Well, I think it's uh, a very uh, dangerous uh, and volatile. Uh, and we're all worried about uh, uh, what would happen and whether or not we can uh, make this transition peaceful and nonviolent as we had hoped until yesterday. And uh, you use the past tense, hoped. Are, are your fears diminishing? Uh, sorry, my fears are increasing. increasing so I, well, I yeah. do think, yes, my fears are increasing because today we are facing a volatile situation where an unelected prime minister who could not even get elected to his own seat in parliament is now acting as if he is in charge of the country. I asked our previous guest this question, whatever changes that uh, are coming in the forthcoming days, weeks and months for Sri Lanka, how confident do you feel that that is really going to change the lives of people who are suffering so much right now there? I'm very confident that if we can get through this transition in a way that is smooth and effective, we can have a very positive impact on both the politics and economics of this country. I think the issue is the next week or two uh, when we need to be patient, when we need to be careful, and we need to show a great deal of responsibility, both personally and politically. And what needs to happen to make that a peaceful and, and meaningful transition for Sri Lanka? I think the first step is that the current Prime Minister, who is acting as the President, must resign. If he resigns, that will change the climate completely, because he is seen as a stand-in for the deposed President, who could not even remain in the country and resign in a way that was decent and ethical. And he fled the country and he appointed in his place somebody else. And that somebody else really has zero legitimacy, so he should leave immediately. So you don't fear that uh, with the Prime Minister resigning, that would leave a dangerous political vacuum? You think that that is the right way forward? The Prime Minister is not just a polarising figure, which would su suggest that he divides the country. He has no support in the country. He doesn't even have the support, I think, of people immediately around him. And if he leaves, uh, we'll have a set up and a constitutional order that's very clear. The Speaker, who has been elected and is the Speaker of Parliament, will then manage the transition. And this will involve the election of first a president, an interim president, and then after that, a prime minister. Um, most of the country would be satisfied with the process run by Parliament. We will have to leave it there. Dr. Ram Manikalingam, thank you very much for joining us there in Colombia.